Welcome to my channel. Journey of the World with Sergo. Today I will tell you about Lake Red Lotus. The lake is close to the town of Kumfawapi in northeastern Thailand. The lake's official name is known Han Kumfawapi, but locals just refer to it as the Sea of Red Lotuses. Contrary to popular belief, lotus blossoms are deep pink rather than red. Eastern Thailand's Red Lotus Lake is a true natural treasure. Beautiful blossoms and shades of delicate pink to crimson cover the entire water's surface. From December to the end of March, lotuses bloom for about four months. To enjoy all the splendor of the blooming flowers, go for an early walk around the lake, because the buds open at 6 a.m. and close at 9 a.m. to be at a time when the skylight will not be as warm as after that time. When the lotuses are in full bloom in December, people flock in caravans to photograph the breathtaking splendor. When the lotus blossoms are in full bloom in the morning, between 6 and 11 a.m., the best photographs can be taken. Of course, such a sea of flowers looks lovely at any time of day. To lay Buadang, the sea of red lotuses, was how the Thais referred to it. The region of Udon Thani in northern Thailand is home to Red Lotus Lake. It's a typical lake for nine months of the year. But from December to February, it literally blooms during the winter. More than three square kilometers of the lake's surface are covered in red lotuses. The lake also contains a number of tiny islands with pagodas and temples. It's definitely worth visiting Thailand's Red Lotus Lake. The cost of renting a boat in Thailand is either 300 baht for 45 minutes or 500 baht for 1.5 hours. Of course, the boat has a driver who will show you the lake's other attractions, like its sea of flowers. South of Udon, the lake is 40 kilometers away. By taking a boat excursion from the pier on the lake's north bank, you can see a picture of the blooms. Before the surrounding landscape drastically changes, the motorboat sails for around 20 minutes. Then, the boatman stops the engine and maneuvers the vessel through narrow passages and routes along the blooms until it reaches the depths of the lotuses by pushing off the bottom with a bamboo stick. Known Konkumfawapi Lake is about 8 kilometers long and 3 kilometers wide. In addition to lotuses, local birds can be seen here. In the early morning, when the flowers are just beginning to bloom, the lake is at its most colorful. When the red lilies are just blooming in December, it is an ideal month to visit this place. Every region with a chance to attract tourists is working to develop tourist attractions. Even if it's not always as intriguing as it seems on paper and you realize it's a somewhat drawn-out attraction, you still find it acceptable for your free time. Nothing less than unique is used to describe this natural landmark. The Red Lotus Sea, also known as Red Water Lily Lake, is a stunningly unique and colorful lake in eastern Thailand. What could be more lovely and romantic than to float a boat through thousands of exquisite colors, from soft pink to vibrant red hues? A unique flower in Asia and the East generally is the lotus. Since very early times, the gorgeous lotus blossom has been a subject of adoration. It has always been significant in religious rites and has been mentioned in folklore and traditions. It is memorialized in several works of architecture, literature, and art, including the Indian Lotus Temple. You may take in this magnificent beauty here in the region of Udon Thani. You can talk to the locals while the lotuses are in bloom. They come here to fish and to gather lotuses or snails for cooking. The lotus plays a significant role in the distinctive cuisine of northeastern Thailand. It is not just a delectable delicacy, but also one of Buddhism's symbols. 
The stems and seeds of these flowers are expertly used in Thai cuisine. If you don't like this type of food or you're not a foodie, you may just eat savory salads and excellent seafood at nearby restaurants. Of course, views of one of the most stunning lakes in the world will complement all of this. Along with the beauty of the pink blooms, this area is home to some of the rarest species, such as flamingos. The red heron, gray heron, and black kite are just a few of the roughly 100 different species of birds that call Redwater Lily Lake home. Even occasionally, you might be fortunate enough to spot a Brahmin's kite. Subscribe and like my channel. I'm happy to try for you. See you in the next video.